hello everyone anna here welcome back to my channel today i'm crocheting a very cute and soft teddy bear i'm using bernard yarn they are very soft i will place the link in my description if you like to know where i bought and what kind of yarn is it uh, I will have a uh, crochet hook number six, scissors, stitch marker, um, safety eyes, needle. Uh, we'll use the ready nose this time, and you need some stopping. All right, so let's get started. I will start with the dark yarn. I really like it. It's, it's very cute, very nice. Okay, I put it on this side, what I don't need, right, and where is the front? I will start with magic green. I'm starting basically with the legs, this time from the bottom, not from the head. So, oopsie, 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 again. Here we go again, okay magic ring and I place six single crochets inside one two three four five and six all right so I will pull this tail and tighten the yarn Okay, so now we need to find the first stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is my first one. It's good to count in from the back. Sometimes you cannot see which one is the first. And place in each stitch two single crochets. So one, two, and another stitch, three and four then five and six so we will have 12 in total seven eight eight nine ten and two more eleven and twelve all right that's how we started you can tighten it more if you think then you still have a gap here <clears throat> right i will use my stitch marker now and i place it in the last stitch so i know where i started and where i have to finish now i will increase size a little bit so what i do i am placing one single crochet in the next stitch and two single crochets in the second so there is one and two and again one single crochet here and two single crochets in next one and keep repeating it till the your stitch marker already started so again one and two one and two 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 single crochets in one um, stitch called increase so from now i will be using word increase so it's one and next one is increase and one and the last one remove your stitch marker and increase so Yes, that's what we have for now. You always finish in the place where your stitch marker was. So now you're putting again, always at the last uh, stitch. And now I will make, uh, let's do three rounds of, three rounds, three rounds, let's make four. Four rounds of single crochets all around. So I will place single crochet in each stitch, one, two three so everyone you got just one 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 you don't really need to count it because everywhere is one so 
so you go around like this four times and I see you there to continue from that point so that's how uh, four rows of single crochet look like it's gonna be one two three four I'm thinking let's make one more uh, so we'll have five single crochet rows in total then when you finish this leg you need to make straight away the second leg and then i will uh, come back and we will connect the legs together and make the body so when we finish this leg we will cut the yarn and uh, hide it but uh, with the second leg you don't need to cut the yarn at all uh, because we're gonna need it to uh, to start connecting the the body and legs all right i'm nearly there i think this is my last stage so what i like to do uh, because you see you have this jump up step like yes so i always do the the last one as a slip stitch when I take out the yarn, <coughs> I'm sorry, you can uh, cut the yarn. And for uh, this uh, thick yarn, I am using really huge needle. It's my favorite one. I remove the yarn from here and still a little bit hide it inside. I will show you how I do. So what I'm doing, I'm doing then uh, skipping one uh, chain and another one I'm putting it inside. So I'm making, we call it fake stitch, putting in and then go back to the second one. Okay. So how you can see, it's like kind of stitch happening here. And then I just uh, hide the yarn somewhere inside between the stitches so make sure then this yarn is not coming out all right make as many time as you need and then you just keep the yarn inside you don't need to cut it off so make the same way you see it's it's like straight there is no jumping so uh, what I was saying, uh, make the second one the same way and then I will see you there. So I have my two legs ready. The same. So now I will connect them. All right. Okay. What I do in this leg when I left my yarn, I will make one chain and I will place inside the second leg and just grab the chain and make single crochet. So that's all we need to do. And now when they are connected, we just go around with single crochet around both legs. So please keep watching and Follow, keep making your own teddy. Make sure that it doesn't twist. Didn't? No. <laughs> it's good. Okay. We are good. All right. So this is this last one. And this is the connecting chain. One single crochet. And then we're going back to the second leg. All right.
assim. And again, connection chain. And go to the first leg. So, all right, you can treat it as uh, this leg as your beginning. So how you can see, we connected them nicely. I like to put my stitch marker here because I never remember if I start from here or here. Uh, so let's make uh, two more, two more single crochets all around, and I will see you in this point. I finished two rows of single crochet here, so that's what we have now, and uh, it's time to get a little bit decrease the body. Um, so I will show you the invisible decrease, how it looks like. Okay, we pick two front uh, parts of the next two loops. So you do not pick both of those. We just pick this front and straight away this front. So you have a two and three. Then you grab the yarn and pull through only two, and then you still have a two. So again, grab the yarn and pull through two. So this stitch calls invisible decrease. So we will be using this invisible decrease all the way now. I mean, not all the way, but how we are using it. So I made invisible decrease, and now I will make seven single crochets. So just one single crochet in each stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And again, we'll make invisible decrease. So I repeat the same. Front, front loop, pull through the two, and we have a two and again pull through the two and again seven single crochets and we keep repeating it till our stitch marker three four five six seven and decrease again one and two and two all right and again seven single crochets one two three four five six seven and again decrease And another seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and okay, that's where I finish. But I want to be at the same point, so I will get one extra single crochet. So I finish when I started. And uh, okay, how you can see it's already start shaping, it's going this way. Uh, so the next one round, make single crochet all around from your point, one round of single crochets. Now you can see body start to looking much much better so now we will decrease again by six so i will do invisible decrease okay and six single crochets one two three four five and six and again decrease 
and another six one two three four five and six and now it's decrease and make this uh, all the way around afterwards when you finish decreasing make as before one circle of single crochets how you can see uh, i finished so we will keep in repeating now i finish uh, decrease and six single crochets then i done uh, one uh, round of uh, single crochets only let's make now decrease and five single crochets then single crochets around four and decrease and then single crochets and then three and decrease and i will see you in that point Okay, so that's how I finished. That's the gap which left. So we have a legs and body nearly ready. Uh, now it's time when you stuff the body. Okay, you might actually stuff the legs a little bit faster than me because now it's not really easy to get there. But you still can make it, no problem at all. Okay. we get in okay, more stuffing and more stuffing right Okay, you don't need to stuff at this moment till the end too much because we still need a little bit loose here to connect the hands and, um, and the head. When we will be assembling the head, there is the point where you can um, add more as you need. Okay, no more, that's it. All right, so I will leave the body for now and I will start the making hands okay so I cut the yarn but we gonna need this yarn later on but I need the yarn for hands so I have no option and uh, yeah I'm gonna cut this no worry okay so I put the body on the side and how I make that hands i start from a magic ring okay and i will make six single crochets one two three four five okay it's a bit too big uncomfortable okay one two three four two more five and six and tie this okay and where's my first one one two three four five six so i will place two single crochets in my first chain and all of the chains all the way one two three and four three and four oi five six seven oopsie seven eight nine ten and two more eleven and 12 all right so i have a 12 single crochets all around and now uh, i will make few circles of uh, few rounds of 
uh, single crochets only so all them gonna have a 12 one two it's always confusing if i'm putting here or here but i think this is my first stitch one two three four five six seven eight nine eleven twelve yes this is the one at the bottom all right so let's keep making rounds of single crochets around uh, till i will see the right size of the hand okay so just single crochets or around okay okay one round is done so let's keep make second round have a two rounds of single crochet around uh, let me see how many we might need if the hand will be for example this size so maybe one two three four five maybe six let's make a five more and we will see how it fits so yeah make five more rounds of single crochet around and I will be back I have done how we said in total seven rounds of single crochets and I'm thinking I'm gonna make one more the hand is still a little bit too short so I will make one more so it will be eight single crochets rounds in total so I'm gonna make one more round but don't need a uh, lot of stuff in here because I like like bottom so top will be a little bit loose okay that's too much that is too much and now I will close the top with single crochet so it will be one mm -hmm. two three four five and probably one more so it it's closed with six single crochets yes all right okay so we need to just finish this yarn okay the hand is ready okay what I do I cut the yarn pull the tail so remove the yarn from here and I little bit close it okay I will hide the yarns in the middle oopsie 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 okay that is good and now I hide it the way how uh, the stitches goes so if I would like to put this yarn here it would be like different uh, pattern 
so I always go the same way. So you just keep putting gently, don't very, very gently. Yeah, okay, so yeah, this way. So make it a few times till you think the new yarn is safe and it's not gonna be coming out. And you can finish somewhere. Um, I used to like to finish it off next to uh, the place where it's invisible. Okay, like here, for example. So that's what I can do. That's it, and I can cut. So make the same way, the second hand. If you think uh, if there is coming out, you can push with your needle inside, so it's not gonna be visible. So we need one more hand, and when the hand is ready, we will connect with the body. How you see before I needed to cut my yarn so I feel because I finished my hands now I'm gonna need to connect the yarn again but it's no problem it, it will not be visible so just make a knot and uh, yeah that's it okay make sure it's strong because this yarn is very slippery and the cut and should be fine you should be fine with that all right so now i need to connect the hands they will go here on the sides of the body okay so let me see where is my nearest stitch okay this one is here okay so if I will go here, wait a second, the yarn needs to be from the back. Keep yarn at the back, then first, and go to your nearest stitch, and go through the both, and make single crochet. And again, second stitch here, and another one here. Grab the yarn, and just make single crochet, and another one, three, it and another one that's the I think the easiest and the best way to connect the hands and the sixth one the last one there right so yeah it's very nicely connected Okay, so now we go with single crochets till the point where we attach the second hand. Sometimes a little bit difficult is to make the same, on the same line, aligned. So, all right, you can see my knot is from the inside and nothing really happened. Nobody's gonna see that. Okay, let's try it where this one goes. Um, goes here. So one more single crochet, one more, and now I will connect the second hand. So I will go through the first one, grab the yarn, and the second and the same way three oopsie oopsie okay four five and six okay they are even, I'm so happy. And let's finish single crochet till the end. Okay. All right, and the last one will do slip stitch and we remove the yarn because the body is ready. The body is ready. All right, so let's... All 
right, let's make a head now. So I start from magic ring. Magic ring. And I will put six single crochets inside. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I will pull the yarn, close this, and now I will put two single crochets in each stitch. So it's gonna be 12 at the end. One and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten and the last two eleven and twelve all right so i will place the my stitch marker in the last uh, chain in the last stitch and increase by one so it's one single crochet in the next stitch and two single crochets in the second stitch and again, one single crochet in the third and two single crochets in the fourth. So we keep repeating this pattern till the end of your uh, round. So one and it goes two, which calls increase. So one and increase. Okay. One increase one and the last increase is here increase all right so this is second round it was one two three for fourth round we make two single crochets and increase one two and increase one two and increase so finish that way till the end of your stitch marker then make two more rounds which will be one two three increase and another round one two three four and increase and i see you there to continue making the head I increased my head size four times so now we need to make a single crochets five rounds around so from this point we need to just one single crochet in each stitch till we have a five full rounds and then we will start to decreasing Five rounds of single crochet is ready and now it's time for decreasing so I start from decrease and make four single crochets one two three and four and again decrease and four single crochets one two three and four and decrease and four single crochets one two <gasps> i lost my stitch marker that is not good at all two three and four and the okay it might be somewhere here i believe but i calculated all right i will count it so we done one two three four decrease one two three four decrease one two three four decrease so not very wrong it was here 
all right so finish this round with four single crochets and decrease till your stitch marker and then make two more which will be uh, second will be one two three and decrease all around and one two and decrease all around and we'll be placing the eyes how you can see i changed my stitch marker this one is not coming off at all all right it's time to place the eyes all right we need to find somewhere the middle of the head so i'm thinking maybe on this line because i still need a space for the mouth okay 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 we always use the same stitch line so if i start here with the first one let's place the first one and then i will align the second one Okay, the first one. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Right, if we go there, maybe, maybe somewhere here should be fine. It is not too far. There might be too far, I think. Yeah, this should be right. Let's place it here then. Okay. And I will stuff the head now. Okay. Just a little because we still need to keep decreasing and if it's too tight, it's very uncomfortable. So from this point, I will do get in. I will do because I finish on decreasing. So when you last decrease, so now you go single crochet and decrease. Single crochet and decrease. Try to keep it tight so you don't have a gap, single crochet and decrease because when you overstretch here then your stuffing will be visible single crochet and decrease all right and again single crochet and decrease and again single crochet and here we'll go decrease all right okay i will put stitch marker in the last stitch and need to put some more filling and try to make it even because how you can see it look ugly all right i have some more and let's keep stuffing. Try to keep stuffing even on all the sides. So it's not one point more and the other point less. And definitely then you need to work out the shape a little bit with your hands because it's hard to place the stuffing even okay a little bit more this side and a little bit this side this side at the back there okay and now what left uh, one round of decreasing all the way Okay, so let's keep decreasing only here. And another decrease. Okay. And big decrease. I never know, it 
this one is already there. Yeah, I think it's there. Okay, decrease. There. Okay, keep it tight. And they the last one. And with the last decrease, I like to do slip stitch. So I go through all of three. Okay, and then remove it. I cut the yarn. Okay. Pull the tail and we close this gap. Get your needle. Okay, and keep placing in your stitches outside. In each stitch, pick, pick it. Okay. Make sure that your yarn is not coming out because it's really get messy. Okay, I think that's my last one. All right. Okay, pull the yarn and close this gap. Beautiful. You see it's gone? How nicely. And I will put this inside somewhere next to and take out in the other point. That way we hide the yarn and make it invisible. Okay. All right. we hide somewhere at the bottom and cut it so all right the head is nearly done i can say now i need to make the ears and the face and nose i plan to make the um the same color of the ear but unfortunately that's the yarn left so if you have more yarn so make the same color if you like actually it's your decision but i have to make white ears and white face because i don't have a yarn enough okay so we start with the ears now all right if i will find the beginning of this yarn only <laughs> i have a two of those okay 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 and I will start also with magic ring. Okay. And place of six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I tighten the yarn see and i will place two single crochets in each stitch okay white yarn is quite difficult to work with because you don't really see anything here where is your stitch all right one two three four five and six together seven eight nine oi 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 that's wrong nine and ten and two more eleven and twelve all right Okay, okay, now I will make uh, two, two rounds of single crochet. Let's see. So we're gonna have uh, 12 or around one, two, 
three, you don't really need to count if you have stitch marker. If you don't, you might count till 12. Okay, I think I have a yarn issue, too messy. Oi, 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 not good. Okay. Right, one round of single crochet is done and we'll make one more and I will see how the ears look like. How we know I'm making always pattern as I go, I don't have prepared ready patterns, I'm just keep going with flow as it is. So sometimes hiccups happen. Okay. Two rounds of single crochets are done. Let's see the size of the ear. Okay. Okay. Okay, I know. So let's make one more round of single crochet. So we'll have a three rounds of single crochet. And the final round will little bit decrease, so I will make decrease, okay, then I place three single crochets, one, two, and three, and decrease again, okay, and three single crochets, one, two, three and decrease right and that's it I think so let's see how it look like okay yeah I think that's fine that's what we need Okay, so let's make one more ear and then we'll connect it. And the last element to make left is the face. So again, I start with magic ring. Magic ring and six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, you pull this and make again two single crochets in each stitch. So one, two, three, four, Six, seven, and seven, 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 eight, nine, ten, and the last two, eleven and twelve. Let's see. Yes, so now we little bit increase it. So place your stitch marker in the last uh, stitch and make one single crochet. 
and increase okay again one single crochet and increase one single crochet and increase one single crochet and increase and one it's hard to get in sometimes and increase okay one single crochet and the last increase okay let's see mm, one more round one more round so we'll do two single crochets and increase so one two and increase one two and increase one two increase one two increase i hope it's not gonna be too big this time but i think bigger is no problem one two and increase and the last one two and the final increase okay Oops. let's see how it look like now oh no 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 again this big knot okay all righty let's see i think now is the right what we need to do now make final and round with a single crochet around so it will a little bit give this uh, piece a shape it's a little bit tightened how you can see it's getting tightened here okay stitch I like to do as a, a slip stitch so I don't have this there here just step or I don't know so we just get in pull the yarn through one and two and that's it and take it off cut the yarn but leave a little bit longer yarn because we will need to assemble it together with the face okay I uh, think should be fine cut the yarn and pull the yarn from here okay all right tighten up so that is ready to assemble okay okay now i will a little bit hide this yarn because it's like everywhere it's always disturbing me i don't like this piece so i just hide it somewhere between inside yeah and i will cut it okay that's fine and i'm thinking to place the nose now so if i will start from which side i start maybe where is the beginning beginning is here so should be this way i will start stitching from the bottom then 
Okay, so I might place my nose somewhere around here. I think it's in the beginning, in the middle. I think it is. It's really hard to place it like really strict in the middle. The yarn is, you know, always stretching, especially this one. Okay. Now I am assembling the face. So this element, which we done before, I need to make sure then it's uh, even. So I will use for that uh, the pins. Okay. Come here and i will place the pins all around the face don't place the pins too close because we're gonna need to stitch this line uh, here Okay, where did you go? Right, and I take a needle. stitching all right now I'm going down under this element taking my yarn through and then when I'm going up I am placing it here and here And again under right so you cannot see the stitches <clears throat> that's why I placed the um, pins a little bit more far not so close to the edge to have a space for stitching and these uh, pins which you already stitch here, you can remove them straight away because sometimes they like to hide inside and if you, you know, forget and it's hide inside and you leave it, it might be really problem. Okay, so keep stitching till you're nearly there then we'll uh, put a little bit our uh, stuffing and we'll close it i'm nearly there how you can see i stitch all around so <clears throat> only this gap left so i will remove the pin and i will put a little bit stuffing not much right try to spread it even Okay, pull the yarn and let's close it. So
can make a shape and from now we hide the yarn okay That's enough. I cut it. If you think that some pieces coming out is visible, you can push it with your needle inside. <clears throat> and now I will attach the ears. <clears throat> so I want them somewhere here. All right. more far maybe okay so i have a one two three three rows okay and um, i can hold it with something like last time okay and i start to do exactly the same way stitching like from the back and now the white part like this and again going under okay and the white top part make sure then you catch the both sides front and back of the ear and again under and the ear I can remove it now and under okay okay it seemed to be strong but i like to go back again the same way this way to make it double make sure that it's very strong so i always make double stitches both sides strong and place the yarn somewhere inside and we again gonna hide it okay it we done so one ear is ready now stitch the second ear and we will attach the body now I'm attaching the body my ears are ready 
over ready so this is my body I left little bit yarn but not uh, long enough so I'm gonna need to add some yarn on it so it's gonna be like this and the same way I will pick the circle inside where I want to uh, have my stitches to make sure that it's not moving my uh, center otherwise your head will be on the side hanging so let me see how it's gonna be there here a little bit here Okay, let me see it's gonna fit. Okay, if this is front, it should be the right. <clears throat> so as you can see, I didn't feel the full, but um, I'm gonna do that at the last moment when I will be nearly closing because it would be uncomfortable now to stitching it that way. All right so beginning is very tricky and how to start all right i start from this place so again putting this way up here and going back to the stitches <coughs> to the body i mean if you have an option to to stitch this body on your laps it's much much more comfortable than on table like hold like really baby on your laps and then keep stitching because the table is very very uncomfortable <clears throat> okay and then again under here oops sorry and head And again, body. So I will keep removing these ones, which I already done. And again, where I am. And again, there. Okay, keep stitching. I will finish this on off camera and I will be back when I will be finishing the head, the head, the stitching, the body and the head. Uh, how you can see, not much left to stitch, just this gap. So now I need to put more of my stuffing to make sure then the head is, is strong and neck is strong otherwise the head will be falling down or on other possible sides if you like a more girly version of the teddy so please dig in my channel i have a pink uh, purple purple teddy bear a girl with a pink dress so you might try this option also okay a little bit more I have experience with wobbly heads. That's why I am trying to put as much as I can stuffing here. 
because I don't want my head be wobbly, okay? And I keep stitching. Now it's much, much easier. When you're nearly there. seem to be strong that's good because this yarn is very soft that's why you need to really make good stuffing inside okay something stuck okay and now when you stitch all around you can make uh, one more round but uh, stitching like across so to assemble head strong this way okay actually i really like it the steady come out quite nice nice no complaints okay okay push it in okay it's a bit messy here so i what i'm thinking i am thinking to give my teddy um scarf so let's try to make a scarf for scarf i will use aran yarn white aran yarn and hook four and a half so i start from the loop so i'm placing the yarn here oh, yeah. uh, going around this finger this and put inside this inside this and again back inside this and we will see how many chain we need so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine 13 more 31 32 33 4 5 5 6 7 8 9 14 let's see a mm, little bit more 14 is for now so one two three four five six seven eight nine fifty let's see fifty 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 maybe fifty a little bit more let's try a little bit more fifty one two three four five six seven okay one more check up try again okay i hope should be enough so i have a 57 uh, chain of 57 and i will add three extra uh, 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 chains so okay so we're gonna be 57 16. so one two and three and now we'll be using all the way double crochet so you grab the yarn and one two three put in the third loop and take over you have a three take a yarn go through two of those and again yarn and from two of those and again grab the yarn place in the next chain 
grab the yarn we have a three pull through two and again the yarn and another two and another one the same go in pull through through the two and two and again there two two and two and again two and two so make all till the end and we'll take from there so double crochets all the way okay when the um, uh, scarf part is ready you, if you like a uh, more wider scarf you can make one more line here so it will be wider and I will make the end of it now so I take some yarn and maybe something like this okay fold few times it's good if you count how many times you fold so both sides will be the same all right and cut then take the quite big the biggest wood you have um, hook and pull through this big hole here okay try to keep it tight so make sure that everything goes through okay all right and make bigger this loop and get through and pick the remaining yarn which was on the other side okay and pull it through okay you might need to pull the some of them separate because they might not go how you want it i think this one is some problem here okay i think this one didn't come out right okay then the cut the size you would like like this. and then we have this side finished make the same on the other side and our scar will be ready right i'm finishing the second one i will cut the same size okay and let's try the scar for our beauty right it's good okay I love it it's beautiful but now we need to make some one more thing because how you can see um, the black eyes at the top of this dark yarn they are not very visible so what I'm gonna do I will take some uh, Aran yarn white one I will take my big needle and place the needle somewhere at the back or maybe even here at the bottom so you can nobody can see that and try to go near the eye as close as possible yeah 
pull till you don't see the yarn at the back okay and now get somewhere around this side and make the same way of the other eye so as close the eye as you can and now be very very gentle keep it here okay you can a little bit gently push under so it's stuck and the second eye make very similar and then put the yarn somewhere else in different place oopsie okay 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 that's how it is it's really hard to make two eyes look the same because this yarn doesn't go you see i cannot go inside here but it's no it's not good at all i don't like it i need to try to make it again so let's try gently pull this side and try again sometimes it doesn't happen at the first time when you're making it so all right i will try to go inside with the same and go there that's where i should be my wrong my bad my bad my bad okay we there now and it goes somewhere here and let's see if i'm right yes i think much much better put it a little bit down yes this is it how you can see the eyes look much better and they are more visible now so how i hide this yarn at the top of the dark one to make sure it's invisible you always need to go back to the same hole where you put it before so now if I put somewhere here but keep watching till your yarn disappear from this point I'm sorry for moving with this bear like that okay so that's it you cannot see that because uh, your yarn is rolling around the uh, stuffing which is inside and the stuffing will hold your yarn that's it you can go anywhere you want on the body okay okay and I can cut here so if you still see your yarn you just push it in it's gone and it is gone what happened here? Okay. And our teddy is ready. So how I mentioned before, if you like the girl version of the teddy, I have on my channel a purple girl in pink dress is cute also so please dig in i'm sure you're gonna like it also um yes thank you for watching my channel if you like to see my suppliers where i bought the uh, yarn so have a look under my description and subscribe if you like it because i am publishing regularly mostly toys but i am thinking to uh, crochet different things i plan to crochet the sweater for my daughter and uh, just different things so if you like it keep watching so thanks for watching again and i hope to see you soon bye